how to make zinc die casting soft enamel lapel pins. First of all, we need to draw out the design of pin. When we finish the drawing, we input it into our mold making computer and getting ready for the mold. Then, we clean our working table. This is a blank mold that is needed to be cut and engraved. We set our blank mold and start cutting. Now, we just finished cutting the mold, but we are not done yet. We will proceed to our next procedure. We are making a zinc metal finishing pin, so we are making pin by liquefying the metal. As a reason, we need to open up an entry for the liquid metal filling into our mold. Step of mold making has been done by now. This is an example of making a back mold for our pin. We will craft a front mold and back mold in order to create a seamless vacuity space. Then we fill the space with liquid metal. We will wait and let it cool off and you can see an embryo of the pin. Now, we have the front and back molds done. Place the molds correctly in our machine. When the machine is on, these metal zinc will be liquefied and filled into the molds. When they cool off, the embryo is done. Usually, we can place more than one set of molds in our machine so that we can make it done at once. For this time, we do four sets in once. We need to polish the edge of the embryo to remove any thorn and stain. Now, we will attach the clutch by riveting it on the pin. and we take it to polish again. After polishing, we are going to electroplate. First, we need to clean the pen. We rinse it with clean water before putting it into acid water for purifying through chemical reaction. Then, we rinse it over and over again. We sink it into the plating trough for copper plating and we rinse after first plating. Then, we do a second plating to ensure the plating quality. While finishing plating, we need to rinse multiple times, and we will dry the pin by baking it. We take the pins off and organize them piece by piece. Now, the pins are ready for coloring. After matching requested colors, our technicians use coloring needle to color pins manually. The coloring process is different between soft enamel and hard enamel. For soft enamel, we can bake and dry the pin once we finish coloring the whole pin. The badge needs to be baked once in a color, then the next color, and then dry. Finally, we have finished all process of making a soft enamel pin. This is the presenting of a finished product. We are GS-JJ.com. We will provide all kinds of videos about how our products are made. If you enjoy our video, please do not hesitate clicking the like button. We will continue making great videos.